just like I have done a review, uh, blah, 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 a review on this. <laughs> the density on destiny. I always love saying that. And it just makes me feel like such a cool person. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Chiquelle YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys six of my very favorite wigs right now. But before I jump into it, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, so I'm gonna show you six of my favorite wigs today. I know six is such a random number. I was thinking I would do three, but then I was like, three's not enough. I have more than three favorites. Then I was like, well, five is a nice number. But then I was like, but I have six of them. I actually, I, I have more, but <laughs> I just decided on six. Six seems like a fun number to do. So we're gonna do six. Being in the position I'm in, I am so lucky to be able to try so many different wigs. I probably have tried hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of wigs, but these ones for some reason have just spoken to me on a different level. So the ones I'm gonna show you today are new wigs out of the box. They are not my own personal ones that I've been wearing forever. Although I do have some of these myself and I do wear them. The ones I'm showing you here today are the brand new versions of them out of their box. Now, if you know me, you know that I do have a thing for the long styles. Now, of course, I do have some of those long styles here today, but don't worry if you are someone who likes shorter styles, I have some of those for you too. In fact, we are gonna start with a shorter one, not like short, short, but short-ish, in Sage by Aesthetica. And I absolutely adore this one. I think it is just the cutest little thing ever. Again, I'm not gonna do full on reviews for you, but I will show you the basics and put her on and do a spin and just kind of talk about why I love it so much. This one has a lace front a left part that goes all the way back to the crown here and then we do have the rest of the top here is a bit of permatease and it's an open wefted cap with just standard ear tabs, a standard extended nape with uh, Aesthetica's hook adjusters. So I'm showing this in the color R14 slash 26H, which is a nice medium sort of golden blonde with a bit of more cool highlights going throughout. Let me put this on for you and you will see why I love it so much. I find that this length is just such a playful and flirty length. It's not too short, it's not too long. And I love this because it's at that length where it's not going to be rubbing against your shoulders to cause friction and make your ends all frizzy really quickly. So it's gonna make this wig last a little bit longer than your longer wigs. I also love this one because the fibers are so soft and bouncy and fluffy. This does have permatease in it and it's not like there's a little bit of permatease in it. There's quite a good amount of permatease. I don't always love the permatease, but in a wig like this, I, I'm obsessed with it. I think that this would look horrible if it was one that was just like pressed against my head like this. Because the style of this is such a flirty, bouncy look, I feel like it needs all of that extra volume in it. And the good thing about this volume is that it's not too like stuck in a spot. I know a lot of wigs that have permatease, they're like thick and dense permatease and it's almost like it's like stuck there and it's not movable and you're like wearing a helmet. This one has permatease that's really fluffy. So you can still play around with it and move the fibers around in more of a natural way. And I just love the curl pattern on this one. It's so cute. I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell you it's cute, but you can start counting. It's really cute. <laughs> Now, another reason I really love this one is because the hairline is lovely. Aesthetica, I find, actually makes really nice lace fronts. I love the density of their hairlines, and I love how they're not so thick. Like, you don't see a full band across your head um, like you might see on a Raquel Welch hairline, for example. Raquel Welch, although they have really beautiful lace fronts, I find them to be so perfect. Aesthetica's aren't as perfect, which to me make them a little bit more realistic. And when you have this lighter color like this, the knotting is not gonna be as noticeable. So really nice hairline that I just adore. Okay, and also as I have it up like this, how cute would this be just like pinned back like that? Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, so Stage by Aesthetica, I adore it. I am obsessed with it. I love it so stinking much. 
but just a warning, this is one where I had always seen stock image of it and it was never one that was on my radar. I was, I would always just pass it by and be like, meh, meh, I don't need to try that one. But then I tried it and then I loved it. So it has made this video. How very exciting for Sage. Okay, upward and onward to my next very favorite wig lately. This one um, is a newer one by Beltress. I have done a, rev uh, blah, 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 a review on this. Uh, this is Chloe. This is Chloe by Beltress from their new Lux collection. And the biggest reason that I love this so much is because of its realism. It looks so realistic when you put it on and it's comfort. This is a hand tied cap, so stretchy, so comfortable when it's on. We have silicone ear tabs, full monofilament top. You can part it wherever you want. Ear to ear wrap around lace front. So the lace front wraps around your ear tabs. Um, and then this has pull adjusters and just kind of a standard make. But this one, man, it is a realistic one. The way it moves, the way it moves, it moves like it's your own hair. It moves like it's growing from your head. Look at this movement, you guys. It's just moving like it's from my own head. It just does whatever I tell it to do. And I love it so much. <laughs> So this is in the color Sunkissed Almond Rooted. It's a really nice combination of some like warmer brown tones. You can see that warmth there. All mixed with some cooler blonde in here. And plus it is rooted. Like I said, I have done a review on this one um, and very specifically this exact one on my head. So I do go more into the color and of course more into the wig itself. So let me spin around for you. So this is made with Beltress's heat-friendly fibers, which means you could give this a wave, you could straighten it. Um, the world is your oyster. And I also love this one because of these sort of, it's almost like a curtain bang here. These soft layers in the front make it so easy to style it in an updo. It gives just such a soft face framing effect at the front. So I love having these types of layers in the front for updos. So, this one to me is really versatile for styling and it's just easy to wear down as well. All right, since we are talking about Beltress's Luxe Collection, I will let you know that my next very favorite wig also comes from Beltress's Luxe Collection. I just did a review on this last week, I think, and this is Stella by Beltress and our Luxe Collection. <laughs> now Stella here is in the color Toasted Walnut Rooted, which is pretty similar to Sunkissed Almond Rooted. I do find there's a little bit more brown in the Toasted Walnut Rooted. I actually just did a, a big in-depth color analysis on this color, comparing it to some others as well. So make sure you go take a look at that video if you are interested in this color. Stella is the exact same cap as Chloe, which is why I love Chloe so much, because of the cap, because of the comfort it has, because of the natural movement it lets the hair have. It's all that same luxe cap. But let me put this on for you so you can see it, of course. So this right now is probably my favorite long piece. My very, very favorite long one. Now, the one issue about long synthetics is they tangle, especially the long heat-friendly synthetics like this one is. And it can become frustrating, but if you are up for the challenge of just bringing along a wide tooth comb with you for the day, giving it a little brush through and making sure you maintain the ends of your fibers with heat, then that's gonna help um, help you in the long run too. So just like Chloe, Stella is going to be able to be parted anywhere you want. It's gonna have that natural movement of hair and it's going to look like it's growing out of your very own head. Plus the density on Stella is so natural. It is a lighter density. Density, it's not gonna feel like you're overwhelmed with too much hair. And anytime you have these hand tied caps, you're not gonna have firmities in them. So it's not gonna feel poofy like we had on um, Sage by Aesthetica. This is a very different cap from Sage's cap because Sage had that open wefting in it and all that permities throughout the cap. This one is hand tied, no permities, much more lower profile. Now, what I forgot to mention about Sage is that Sage is just synthetic fibers. It's not heat friendly. One thing you will find about synthetics in general is that they are a little bit shinier than heat friendly fibers. However, I do find that Aesthetica um, is not 
too bad in their shine. It's, it's not overwhelmingly shiny. And you will also find that when you get a color that has more dimension to it, and when you get a style that has some texture to it like this has, the shine is not going to be as glaring as others would. You pick a color that is just one flat color with no dimension to it, and if you pick a style that's just like one length and kind of straight, that is when you start to see the shine a little bit more. Okay, let me go into my fourth favorite wig right now. This one may come as no surprise. I have talked about this one a lot before, and this is Ignite by John Renault. And I feel like I have to throw this in because everyone needs to have a short piece that they love. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite short, shorter pieces, at least short to me. So this is actually a basic cap. So when I say basic cap, it means that it's machine made and we do have a permatease top. There's gonna be no illusion of scalp up here. However, the great thing about Ignite is it has this really wide lace front here. So that's gonna give you a really nice um, hairline and it's gonna give you about an inch and a half of scalp in the part line. So that's handy, handy to have on this basic cap. It is open wefted, velvet ear tabs, a velvet extended nape with Velcro adjusters. And this is in the color Venice Blonde, part of John Renault's California Blonde collection. It is going to have some platinum in it, but also a little bit of golden blonde as well plus your medium brown roots. So this is what would be known as a stacked bob. So we have it nice and layered and short in the back, giving it that stacked appearance. And then it has that A-line cut where it becomes longer in the front. The reason I love this one is because it is just so funky. I honestly don't really feel like myself when I put on Ignite. This is totally out of the box for me. This is not one that I would typically choose to wear. However, I still do love it. And it just makes me feel like such a cool person. I don't know about you. I just feel so cool when I put this one on. Now this one is made with heat friendly fibers. So if you wanted to try and add a little bit of a curl or a wave to this, I think it would be really neat. I've never tried it before and part of me has been always wanting to try to add a bit of a wave to Ignite to see what happens. So maybe that's something I'll try in the future. Let me give you a close up of this lace front here. So on this color Venice Blonde, they bring that lighter color forward. And what that light, lighter color does is it just helps disguise the knotting at your lace front a little bit more. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with those what they call money pieces. Money pieces are when they bring that like light um, root forward so that you have more of a brightness at your front. And the reason I love them is because like I said, it does disguise this um, knotting in the lace. But a reason I don't love them is because then it gives you this perfect band of a perfect hairline that just seems too perfect <laughs> and I don't love that, which makes me self-conscious about pulling it off of my face because nobody's real hairline actually looks like that. Whereas when I was showing you uh, Sage by Aesthetica, that hairline did not have that band of blonde in the front. It was more speckled with all the different colors and it just looked a little bit less harsh of a line. Now, one thing you'll find with Ignite is it has a lot of permatease in it. Again, if you're not a fan of that permatease, if you don't like the big hair, then you won't love this. However, this is a style that thrives on the permatease and the permatease on this is done really well and it really complements the layers and the stacked bob that it has and just the overall appearance of this wig. I think that permatease is absolutely necessary. Okay, moving along to one of my next favorite wigs. We are on number five. Now we just did a did one with lots of permatease in it. Now this is one with absolutely no permatease and this one is Destiny by Belle Tress. And to me, this is just an easy, natural, effortless look. It doesn't have a lot of hair on it. The density on Destiny, <laughs> the density on Destiny, I always love saying that, is really natural and like I said, no permities. We do have just a center part here, so there's only about an inch of space to work with in terms of parting. We do have a lace front and it extends into your ear tab a little bit. Open wefted cap, velvet ear tabs, and just a velvet nape with Beltress's pull adjusters. I have this here in the color Butterbeer Blonde, which is a nice neutral to cool blonde 
with Roots. This is very similar to Shaded Biscuit by uh, Raquel Welch, if that is a color that you love. See what I mean by it being so effortless? Like, I just put, put it on. I just put it on and it looks good, but it doesn't look so perfect. It just looks like my hair. I had a shower, I blow dried it. I put a little bit of product on it and out the door. Like, it's just so effortless. I don't know how else to describe it. What I love about it is it's not so perfectly straight. Like it has a slight, slight wave to it, like barely there. But that to me is what makes it look so natural and effortless is that it's just not so perfect. What I love about this one is that it has a bang. So obviously these bangs are very long. They're way too long for me, but they're nice and wispy. And of course with these long bangs, all you need to do is point cut them raise them up a bit if you do want this bang. But because they are on the longer side, you can brush them to the side too, and it just creates a little bit more of a layered effect there. So Destiny by Beltress is to me just the ultimate effortless look. All right, moving on to number six, you guys. This is my final one I'm gonna show you today. And this one is Scene Stealer. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love Scene Stealer. It has a special place in my heart. <laughs> Scene Stealer is by Raquel Welch. And I'm showing this in the color Biscuit. So Biscuit is the version of Shaded Biscuit, but it's not rooted. So it is a neutral to cool blonde. It has some platinum in here. It's got some sandy tones throughout it. So it is a nice mix of a warmer tone with that cool ash tone as well. So Scene Stealer is an open wefted cap. We do have a full monofilament top for parting versatility, a lace front. Now just know that the lace front on Scene Stealer is not extended into your ear tab. It stops right here at the temple. So it's not extended, just right up to here. And then we do have just a uh, velvet nape with some Velcro adjusters. To me, Scene Stealer is like hair of your dreams. This is like the hair your dreams are made out of. It is voluminous, but not too voluminous. It has beautiful long layers in it. It's just, it's just perfect. So Scene Stealer is made with heat friendly synthetic fibers. So you could straighten this or curl it. I have talked a lot about Scene Stealer in the past and I've done some reviews and comparisons with Scene Stealer, so definitely go and check those out. I will, of course, too, link some videos below that have to do with a lot of the wigs that I'm talking about today. So like I said, Scene Stealer is gonna be a little bit voluminous, but not too voluminous. We do have permatees right along the side here and a little bit at the crown. Now, it's not an insane amount of permatees, but there is a nice chunk, kind of the size of my hands right along here and at the crown and it's definitely enough for you to give this some added volume. If you're looking for a lower profile look that's like almost identical to this, then of course go back to Stella, which I showed earlier. Or if you love Raquel Welch, take a look at Mesmerized. Mesmerized is a hand tied or a partially hand tied cap that is a very similar style to this, but with no permatease. So here's that full monofilament top for your parting versatility part it anywhere you want and then of course we have the lace front here looking nice and natural all right you guys those are the six wigs that i am just absolutely in love with lately i would love to know which is your favorite out of the six i've shown there are so many wonderful options in this video if you have not checked them out I urge you to go check them out because they are all just so lovely. And of course, if you are interested in them, then make sure you go and check them out at our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada or chiquelle.com.au if you're in Australia. But as always, thank you so much for watching you guys. I love having you hang out here with me and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.